Alright, this is a tutorial on how to use Rubber Blip Sync third-party integration for Godot. It's a plugin I created that integrates the Rubber Blip Sync into Godot engine. Well, when you first install the plugin, you have to check if the plugin is enabled, project settings, plugins. Yes, it's active. Alright. You let's open the output here. It's a good idea to make the editor console visible. Create a scene. There are three nodes you need for this plugin to work. Sprite, animation player and audio stream player. So let's add these ones here. All right, so now you go to animation player, select or create your animation, add a track, audio playback track, audio stream player. So now you need to drag a voice recording here. Uh, the plugin comes with an example file in add-ons, rubber lip sync integration, assets, example voice recording. You drag it here into the audio track. All right. For the sake of simplicity, let's go with zero time. It will go to the beginning of the track. But as you can see, the animation only goes to one second. Let's change that by going to stream. So the audio has 34.57 seconds. Let's add it here. I put the wrong number, my mistake. So now you have the audio here in the track. But there is a problem. The three phrases here are English pengrams, but these two are in Portuguese, they are not English. This is a problem for the rubber blip sync speech recognizer. I'll teach you how to deal with non-English voice recordings in the later in these videos, but now for the sake of simplicity, let's go only for the English files. So let's just go here. Now it's only the English pengrams. All right, now is it's all complete. So, so to start Rubber Blip Sync TPI main main window, you have to go to Project Tools Rubber Blip Sync TPI. This will open this window. If this is the first time you install this plugin into your project, you'll probably see this error message. This is normal. It means that the plugin didn't find Rubber Blip Sync into your into the settings. So let's change that. Click on the settings, settings. This window will give you similar information here. It says it needs to call rubber blip sync externally. So you need this external program for this plugin to work. Let's click this. As you can see, it opens the rubber blip sync releases page on GitHub by Daniel Wolf. Now you download the appropriate release for your operating system. Mine is Windows. Windows. It's downloading. All right, so I already have the file. Let's. All right, now go the, back to the project. Close that. You go here. Go to Rubber Blip Sync Integration. Press Open in File Manager. All right, now that you're here. Get your zip file, now you can extract this to somewhere in your computer, but we will just extract it here in the project, in the, in the plugin folder. Alright, if you extract it in your project, you can, it is recommended that you rename it to put a dot in the beginning. This will make Godot not read this file, as you can see here just like the dot import now go to settings rubber binary file it says the rubber binary file not found at path so let's find it at the path we created the default value is the plug plugin folder so let's go to dot rubber lip sync that we just extracted a while ago rubber dot exe if in your operating system it may be different. 
now what we called in the beginning of the tutorial the speech recognizer. If we hover, we can see that the Pocket Sphinx is recommended for English audios and the Phonetic is recommended for non-English audios. For more details, you can check the GitHub page of this plugin. These two options are optional, you can see more details about them in the GitHub page. Now it is necessary that you click Save Settings. Now we select the nodes and resources over here in a path format. So Sprite, Animation Player, Animation, Audio Stream Player, and the audio clip here. Example Audio Pangram Rubber TPI.wav. Generate lip sync animation. So now if we go to output, rubber lip sync executed successfully. Check debug console for practice. Editor, the glow system console. This is only works on Windows. It's starting. This is the progress bar. It will consume a bit of your CPU because it is uh, recognizing and generating the lip sync file. It takes a bit of resources. Done. It, it, it takes a while for the plugin to notice, because the plugin uses a timer to check if the output file has been created. So let's go to animation here. As you can see, the lip sync has been successfully imported. Now go zoom here. So let's check the result. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. No kidding. Lorenzo called off his trip to Mexico City just because they told him the conquistadores were extinct. The beige hue on the waters of the lock impressed all, including the French queen, before she heard that symphony again, just as young Arthur wanted. Alright, now it works, now maybe you have a non-English file. It can be Chinese, French, Russian, anything. If it's not English, uh, let's find the file here again. All right. As you saw here, we cut in the 20 mark, 20 second mark. So let's cut this time on the start offset. Now it's only the Portuguese par pangrams. To be a little more precise, let's go. So this is in Portuguese, it's not in English. A noite vovô Kowalski vi... Um, so the same process applies here. The only difference is you go to settings. And the recognizer, you go to phonetic. This will use phonemes instead of words. Save settings. Same process here. Now the audio clip. We want the second one because it is in the second order here. But if the audio had a different name, it will have a different name here. Generate lip sync animation. I'm sorry, uh, Mac OS and may, uh, Linux may not have this um, system console. You have to start Godot from terminal or something. Now that it's started, let's check the result. À noite, vovô Kowalski vê o imã cair no pé do pinguim queixoso e vovó põe açúcar no chá de tâmaras do jabuti feliz. Zebras caolhas de Java querem mandar fax para a moça gigante de New York. It's done. For more information, you can see the GitHub page in the description. I hope I made the tutorial very easy to follow. And yes, goodbye.